Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, again, we're gonna continue working with fractions. However, today we're actually going to work with writing fractions numerically. Remember, numerically means that it's going to be written in numbers. So our learning goal for today says, I can partition a whole into equal parts and identify the unit fraction numerically. So the materials that you'll need are just your dry erase board for this lesson. All right, so friends, what is this shape? We'll start with something easy. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Okay, so let's partition this whole. So how many equal parts are there? There's two equal parts. What's the name of each unit? One half. Okay, so I shaded part of it. What fraction is shaded? One half, awesome. You can also write one half numerically like this. So the number on the top represents in this example how many parts are shaded. The bottom number always represents the total number of equal parts. So here is written in unit form. And then here we have this written in fraction form. This is a unit fraction right here. A unit is one part of the fraction. That's what unit means. Okay, so what's this shape? It's a square. Okay, so you're gonna draw the square, partition it into three equal parts and shade one part. And then pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so here I have partitioned my square into three equal parts, and I'm gonna shade one part. So now I have some questions for you about this. So how many equal parts are there? Three equal parts. What's the name of each unit? One third, right? Remember the fractional unit for this is thirds because there's three equal parts. What fraction is shaded? So you can write it or you can, um, why don't you guys actually stop and write that on your board? You can write it um, numerically. How would you write that numerically? We know we would say one third, right? So we would write it numerically like this because one part is shaded and the, um, the numerator, that's the top number, that's one part is shaded and the bottom number is the denominator and that is the total number of parts. So that's how you represent one third. Again, this is the unit form, this is the fraction form, and this is also a unit fraction because it's one part. All right, so how many equal parts are there in this shape? 10 equal parts. What's the name of each unit? One tenth. What fraction is shaded? Go ahead and dry that, or write that down on your dry erase board. What fraction is shaded? You could say one tenth, or numerically you could say one with the line and then 10. So that's our unit form. Unit form is kind of like in words. Fraction form is numerically, and then this is a unit fraction because it's one part. All right, so how many equal parts are there for this shape? Five equal parts. What's the name of each unit? One fifth. What fraction is shaded? Go ahead and write that down on your dry erase board. Write it numerically in our fraction form. Yeah, so one fifth, you could write it numerically like this, one fifth. That's our fraction form. Remember the top number is how many parts for this one are shaded and the bottom number is the total number of parts. So this is our unit fraction because it's one part of the fraction is shaded. 
All right, so nice work, friends. You guys did a great job partitioning the whole into equal parts and identifying the unit fraction numerically. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.